if you're not up to speed on the Fast and Furious saga, bail out before the spoilers hit like a ton of bricks. It's for protection from what's coming. On this rocket-powered IMD brief, we break down how the Justice for Han hashtag revived a favorite family member. Surprise. Nice clubhouse. Han lives, and we aren't talking solo. No, it's Han Solo. Wait, that went right over our heads. No one needs to know about this. No one. Anyway, in 2019, when Jason Statham's Deckard Shaw was spun off in an adventure with Dwayne Johnson's Luke Hobbs, the actors and characters were banished from the Fast family for recasting Shaw as a hero. Despite being introduced in the post credit scenes of Fast and Furious 6 as the murderer of our man Han, played by Sung Kang. A Justice for Han hashtag trended on Twitter, but no one expected his return in the first trailer. Or this hug with Vin Diesel's Dominic Toretto that totally didn't make us tear up. No, I'm not crying, it's just motor oil on my cheeks. I got no choice! But let's get into Han's twisty backstory, which bent time and space to include him in three additional Fast movies. Han was first introduced to the Furious Verse in the third film, 2006 Tokyo Drift. As a constantly snacking mentor to American transplant Sean, who taught the speed addicted teen the way of the drift. There's no wax on, wax off for drifting. Learn by doing it. But the character actually originated in a different series entirely. Justin Lin, director of five of the franchise's films, broke out with his 2002 film Better Luck Tomorrow, which featured Kang playing the now beloved Han. The lady's ready. Kang helped develop Han into a much deeper character than was originally scripted by Lin, and the director repaid his gratitude by having Kang audition for a role that did not yet exist in his next film, Tokyo Drift. The pair realized that Better Luck Tomorrow could slyly and canonically serve as an origin story for Han, so they married the two great works in a shared universe. Life's simple. You make choices and you don't look back. Although Diesel's Dom was not in sequel Too Fast, Too Furious, he cameoed at the end of threequel Tokyo Drift to bridge the worlds and to set up fourquel Fast and Furious, which, and this is where it gets wild, took place before Tokyo Drift because director Lin and writer Chris Morgan wanted Han to stay in the Fast family. But they had just killed him off by a car crash in the previous movie. In Fast and Furious 6, it's revealed that Han was actually murdered by bad guy Deckard Shaw, who wanted revenge for Dom, Han, and company throwing Deckard's brother Owen Shaw from the back of an airplane on an impossibly long runway. So the series was reordered 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 3, 7 and the family was given both someone to avenge and a bad guy to hate, until the eighth film, The Fate of the Furious, softened Shaw, recruiting him as a wary ally in an eye-popping baby-saving mission on an airplane. Is that you or him? After Hobbs and Shaw invited Deckard into the family fold, Kang questioned whether Han was being respected, when previously the character's death had inspired his fast family to drive furiously and to jump cars between buildings in his honor. Of course, no one is revealing how exactly Han was able to survive an exploding car and where he's been between Tokyo Drift and F9, but we're sure it'll be about as easy to swallow as the film's grasp on physics. Plus, Dom has plenty to explain about how a guy obsessed with family has had a secret brother all this time. It was a long time, Dom. For more Fast and Furious stories from every universe, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief.